Hey everyone and welcome back to Serena's Toy Room. Today I'm here with a very special Monster High doll review. This was the last collector series for Monster High that they ever made. I don't know if it was a Comic-Con exclusive because of course Monster High was kind of fading out. They're obviously collector dolls of course and they were the last ones they ever made and it's of Gulia and Cleo and you'll get to see them in a moment. But um, yeah, and I've been wanting them for years ever since I first saw them. They're so beautiful and I, and they used to be on Mattel's website but not anymore so I feared like I would never be able to get them because of course scalpers on eBay like price them up for like triple the price but I did manage to get them for a semi-decent price for what I think at least on Amazon. I got them for about 70 which is kind of expensive but considering these are collector dolls and they'd probably be around that price originally I didn't think it was too bad. So if you're wanting these dolls, I recommend you go on Amazon because you could probably find them for a pretty good price like I did. So the outer protective case is meant to look like the side of a pyramid. So we have a silhouette of Sir Hootsalot and Gulia and some hieroglyphics. There it says Monster High and there's the entrance of the pyramid on the side. And then we have the school crest on the top. And on the opposite side we have a little hieroglyphic of Cleo, Monster High logo once again, and Auto Collector. Once you open it up, the diaries were up here but I already removed them. Once you open them up, you slide out the actual packaging. And must I say, this is probably, in my opinion, the most beautiful collector set that I've seen from Monster High. Like, of course, like, a lot of the other ones are beautiful too, but this is, like, the most detailed and well done packaging-wise and doll-wise, in my opinion. I think it's just gorgeous. You'll get to see them in just a moment. But the packaging itself is meant to look like, kind of like Cleo's, like, tomb room or whatever. So there's lots of, like, beautiful, intricate designs that went into it. We have Gulia's skull and then just regular skulls. Gorgeous design. Front here is meant to be like the doorway to Cleo's like room and her tomb. Monster High logo and then we have these little guys on the side. I'm not an expert on Egyptian culture so forgive me if I don't know the names of them. Beautiful artwork of Cleo and Gulia and I'm just going to read this quickly as possible. If you've ever been trapped in a pyramid for thousands of years, you know how deadfully boring it can be. If you were also trapped in that pyramid with your only pet cobra to keep you company and in aid in your pranks against your rather abhorrent sister, you can imagine how poor, but actually quite wealthy, Cleo felt. Entombed in an opulent place with all the luxuries her royal family had to offer, but no one had to admire and worship her. If you know all that, you understand why she began to scream of a mysterious and bespectacled ghoul who would one day rescue her, befriend her, and of course idolize her. It was surely her destiny. It is a little known fact that zombies are among the brainiest monsters in the world. They are often buried in deep thought and be able to solve mysteries and piece together puzzles much faster than our slow gait or moaning dialect would imply. As Gulia often says, <sighs> which roughly translates to I'm busy, enunciation is overrated. And in fact, Gulia has been monstrously busy lately because she found what only a zombie with her superior intellect would consider a clue. Donning her hat and calling Sir Hoots a lot, she sets off on an archaeological expedition to dig up a grave treasure, the princess destined to be her true ghoul friend. And there's all of the freaky fab designers who created this set. So opening up the front, we get to see the beautiful dolls in here. Of course, we're going to take them out and get a better look. But wow, it's gorgeous. So we can see Gulia going down the stairs to Cleo's tomb and meeting her for the first time. Then we have the ghoul's names, some hieroglyphics on the side, which I'm sure means something, but I have no idea. Like, wow, the amount of detail and time and effort put into this packaging. Like, Monster High really went out with a bang, obviously, like, post-reboot. Like, they were really not good, let's be honest with ourselves. But this is, like classic Monster High to me and I'm so glad they didn't like decide to use the reboot faces and bodies and everything like they look like the original Monster High which is great. Let's open up these two finally and give them a closer look. Here they are. I'm completely blown away at the quality and just how stunning the both of them are especially Miss Cleo who we're gonna start off with first. 
so both of them have sideways glancing eyes, which is a first for Monster High, I'm pretty sure. So they're both looking at each other, and I think it's so cool. So Cleo, she has tealy eyes rather than green, which is what she had free reboot which is interesting, but I don't really mind it. She has her traditional egyptian style eyeliner with some gold eyeshadow, which goes also along the lower lash line. And there's some like cobweb looking like decals under there too. Her little diamond beauty mark is actually like 3D. It's not just painted on, it's like actually on her skin, which is really cool. And then she has like a burnt orange eyeshadow, another layer of gold over top of that and then teal eyeshadow on top very elaborate and then deep red lips her hair is gorgeous it's black with some teal and gold tinsel in there with bangs and then she has like a high pony on top she's so gorgeous i cannot get over it her headpiece is gold and teal and as you can see it's very well detailed and molded and it is like into her head and I don't plan to take it off. I would like to wash her hair but that would mean like taking off her headpiece and I'd rather not do that so I guess I won't be washing her hair. She's wearing this black bodysuit which has this really cool like mummy design. It almost looks like paint splatters but it's meant to look like mummy wraps sort of which is Cleo's like go-to design obviously. There's some like Egyptian eyes on there too, the Eye of Horus. So their designs are done in green, yellow, and metallic blue. Her sleeves are made of like this like mesh material in black with some gold sparkles over top. Then she has this neck piece in gold and a little snake wrapping around her neck in a red-orange color. Her arm bracelets are in a metallic gold as well. And she has this gorgeous like long cape almost looking moment going on which like drapes from the back of her bodysuit and it's also attached to her hands as you can see so when she raises her hands it kind of goes up with her so it looks very regal and it's done with like a golden mesh material with some metallic gold designs done to it as well around her waist she has this golden plastic belt piece which looks pretty cool and her shoes are totally to die for she has these mid calf golden boots which have these spiderweb details, some red jewels, and then the heels and soles themselves are in a metallic blue and they're very pretty. She also comes with his set which is her pet snake which we saw with the first wave Cleo so it's kind of nostalgic to see the pets again but in color variations. So rather than being a blue snake with golden accessories, it's vice versa. So it's a golden snake with blue accessories. Gulia has the sideways facing eyes as well. She's very pretty. She has blue eyeshadow and red lips, which are kind of glossy. Her hair is a high quality Kinecolon and it almost feels like Saran, but I'm pretty sure it's Kinecolon. And it's much longer than I thought it'd be too. It's like pretty much like knee length. So nice. And it is light blue with some dark navy streaks in there. Her glasses are blue and she has like a plastic layer underneath so the paint doesn't rub off her skin. Her earrings are red metallic and they're meant to look like hands. Explorer hat is a lime green and it's meant to look like a spider web with some two red spiders on there with some blue straps. Her explorer top is gray with some black drippy details on the bottom and the shoulders are puffy and then trimmed with more black. She has a little ascot done in green and blue and a little fanny pack looking thing which is red and kind of looks like brains very Gulia. she's holding a little torch so she can see in the dark egyptian pyramids she holds it right in her hand as so she has a little um satchel which i'm assuming is the same mold as first wave jackson but i could be wrong but it definitely looks like it it's done in a gray and it kind of has like a speckled details like rochelle's skin and then there's a little hand on it in red her pants are blue and they have little stripes on them if you can see and then she has green skillets and her shoes are the remolds of her first wave which is kind of cool just in colored variations so as you can see the heels are green she comes with his set to keep her company during her adventure so he is in a neon green and blue duo this time they both come with doll stands which are clear and then the bases are black 
so that's great because around this time the Playline Monster High dolls didn't come a stands period. And then last but not least we have a field entry for Gulia and then on the opposite side we have a diary for Cleo so it's, there's two and one in there. So it's great that you look forward to reading that as always. All right that is my review on the beautiful collector's edition Cleo Denial and Gulia Yelps two pack. Tell me what you guys think of these dolls in the comments. I think they're gorgeous and some of the most beautifully done Monster High dolls ever made. And if you can still find them on Amazon, definitely recommend. If there's some Monster High fans still in your life at this point that would really like some cool Monster High dolls this Christmas season, I recommend getting this pack if you don't have it already because it's great and it will make anyone happy. So until next time, comment, rate, subscribe, and see you in the next video. Bye guys!